we are. That reminds me of, um, so I, I just finished writing a book on metabolism, by the way. Oh, when's it and, come out? Um, it's it's going to come out in maybe by Christmas, but maybe in the winter, twenty twenty one. It'll. Well, I was going to say I would hold on enough. to this, but I'll just have you back on when it when it comes out. I'll read the book. We'll do a whole book club. That'd be fantastic. Uh, and so, but yeah, I was reading up on the history of met- metabolic research uh, the other day, mm-hmm. and there's this wonderful history. Um, of this stuff called phlogiston. Ever heard of phlogiston before? No. Phlogiston is what people in the, like around the Enlightenment, around the turn of, uh, you know, 16th, 17th century, uh, people were trying to figure out like, okay, well, what is fire? Everybody's got fire. What is fire? And, you know, and not only that, but fire is warm and, and living things are warm. And are, is, is fire happening in us? Like, and, and if so, like, what does that, like, how does that work? And, and what are the connections? And, and so, like, fundamentally, they had to figure out what the hell is happening <laughs> of burns, right? And that's really hard to do, really hard to do. Yeah. And so um, what they decided it was, they decided that phlogiston is this stuff, this, you know, a little blurry on the details, but it's this stuff that's inside of stuff that will burn. Um, so it's not inside of metal, because metal doesn't burn, but it's inside of wood, and it's inside of your food, and anything that you can light on fire has phlogiston in it. Mm. And when you burn it something, it releases the phlogiston. <laughs> and um, and if you and this is why I mean, duh, this is why if you put a candle under a bell jar, eventually the candle goes out because you fill that air, so they fill that space with phlogiston. There's no more room for it. Mm. And now there's no place for the phlogiston to go and the candle goes out. See? That's amazing. That's such a good story that I'm going to have next time I need a screen name for something, it's going to be phlogiston just yeah. to make people ask me about it. It's like the it's like the infinite toilet paper roll trick. <laughs> you set yourself yeah. up to be really interesting. But screen it, it, name it gets, phlogiston. It gets even better because it took it's really obvious that stuff is given off when something burns, right? It's not at all obvious that anything's consumed out of mm-hmm. the air, right? And, and, to, and to even to think about the idea that something's consumed out of the air, you had to have this idea ahead of time. Like you needed this first idea that you didn't even know you were missing, that air isn't all one thing, right? They didn't mm-hmm. know that air was nitrogen and oxygen and some other stuff right, mixed right. together. They didn't know they just thought air was air. I mean, water is water. So air's air, right? Yeah. Uh, and they had to discover oxygen, and then they had to discover um, that you could take the oxygen out of the air, and then stuff wouldn't burn. And like, man, and I and like all of this stuff was done with equipment that is less complicated than what you have in your kitchen right now. Mm. And they fucking figured out oxygen, and I mean that's that's that blows my mind. It, okay, now it took them two hundred years. So yeah. They, <laughs> It's not like they did Still, it is pretty incredible. 